day of the inspection by the surveyors. He has best bit. The damaged cargo was hidden in a layer. They had good soy. Then a layer of bad soy. Then more good soy. That cannot happen naturally on the ship. And surveyor's report also said, in my 15 years of history, I never seen this kind of damage in the grain trade, especially soybeans. The surveyor tells the insurance company all of this, and they don't chase drapers for damages. They do nothing. This is millions of dollars. Why wouldn't they do anything? So, it's not the collision. Marine insurance has a in cargo protection to cover damage of the loss. They should have checked that in a loading report and quality analysis. It looked to me that the insurers didn't do anything to find the truth. Insurance didn't want to involve in this case by some reason, and I believe it's a collusion. And while this is happening, my ships are being sold for loans against my Chapter 11. They are supposed to be protected. Yeah, yeah, this, this, one, yeah, okay. uh, this one is uh, uh, January 17. Yeah. So, trying to protect my ships. Where this money come from? We start 50-50 joint venture agreement with a company called Carval to restructure finance on four of my ships, including Emax. Right? <laughs> New York, New York, <laughs> New York. <laughs> but in the chapter 11 code, when we bring up the joint venture agreement with Carval, nobody knows anything about it. I think order from the cargo head office to cancel this deal because they value the TMD ship as very valuable. They wanted to own it because it's so good. Then I discovered Carval bought up to 85% of VMAX to get it released from China. And you know who owns Carval? Cargill, the owner of the burned beans. I'm not making this up. My ship was chartered by one company, Dreyfus who sold damaged stock to another company, Cargill. They refunded them without telling me and then sent my ship to the only place in the world where it wouldn't be safe. Then they bought 85% of my ship. 